Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Air and in this video I'm going to talk about equipment. Weapon is similar to character level. There's a level like you can see here. There's a level cap and you can also ascend it to raise the level cap. This right here shows you the necessary materials to ascend and the requirement level for adventure rank. Do not use um, swords that's under three stars. Three star and below, you do not get, like you can see here, there's no refinement rank when it's below three stars and you don't get these effect bonus from the weapon. So if I look at a one star here, you get nothing but the base attack. You can level up to 20 and that's it. Well, you can, you can ascend it too, but you don't get the bonus is what I mean. Um, but when it comes to three stars, it gives you the bonus and you can refine it. So in the beginning, three stars is way better than four star. The stats why is not, but then if you, it really depends what you have, okay? If you're a free to play player, I'm telling you three stars all the way until when you're a much higher level. If you're pay to play, congratulations, you probably have a lot of duplicate swords. So refinement here is, um, okay, you can see your refinement rank. When you refine it, I can actually show you guys, since I do have a lot. So this sword gives these bonus, but if I refine it, it will increase to 18% now. So when you, you need duplicate in order to refine max to level five, and even though these two are the same sword, I am not using it mainly because even if I refine refine it, it's going to be rank level two. While right here, I have enough to max refine level five. It will be much stronger than that. And it's much easier to also level up and ascend. So in the beginning, these should be good enough for you to um, pass through a lot of contents until you have enough five of them and then the right one the one that you want because they take quite a long time to um, ascend and level up when you reach to a sp specific level okay also weapon is much more rare than artifact because of the only way you can get it is from bosses drop um, reward and summon oh sorry I want to say you can craft it as well so the boss drop is actually crafting, my mistake. So if you go into here, every town has a blacksmith. Go talk to them, they give you different weapon and they'll show you the material that you need to craft it. And here it will only craft a four star. I think only, I don't know if you can craft a five star in later in the game, but I think only you can get it, you can only get it from summoning. Don't quote me on that, but um, and then these are material you can get from drop by bosses. And these drop by bosses, you can only farm farm it once a week. I'm going to show you right now. You go to bosses. Um, from what my level is at right now, there's only two bosses that will drop that. One is the wolf. And this only shows that you have a chance to get it. There's a chance it will drop. It doesn't mean you'll get a guarantee. And there's also the dragon, which you'll also have, have a chance to obtain one of those. That's how hard it is to fully refine a five, rank five, four star weapon. And of course, if you go to each town, if you go to the souvenir store, they usually sell some for the be in the beginning, it sells one of these, but they don't refresh. Um, I don't know if it weekly refreshes, but what I learned is that it doesn't. And then next, you will have to go to other town to obtain these. And they're just so rare. So yeah, three star would be recommended for the um, weapons right now. Now let's talk about artifacts. Artifacts is a little bit different um, than weapon. So artifact, if you go here, you have five slots to input your, to equip your artifact. An artifact has different set. Different set gives out different bonus. Doesn't matter what star this artifact is. For example, Berserker here, it will always give, doesn't matter right here, let's say four star, it gives the same bonuses here. 
if you have two set of Berserker, you're going to get critical rate plus 12%. Now I'm going to look at a three star one, same thing, 12%. If you have a four set, if you equip four of the same um, set artifact, you will get when HP is below 70%, crit rate increases by an additional 24%. So, like you can see here, these all give out different um, effect here. So this one's called Instructor. If you look at it, it will give you increases elemental mastery by 80 when you have two of them equipped, and when you have four, you'll get elemental mastery by 120 for eight seconds. So it's all preference. Of course, some character might use this uh, these a little bit better, and I'm not knowledgeable enough to tell you guys what to equip so far is really based on how you want to play your character and how you and who you have as well I would say really it's based on preference okay so and it's different than weapon because there's no refinement if you use this you have a set congratulations just level it up max it and then that's it you don't have to worry about getting a duplicate However, the duplicate ones, um, it's not necessary that they're not useful. They're useful because they give up the same base attack. Let's say these two Exiles Feather, they're both the same equipment, same artifact, same feather. They give up the same HP plus 239 like you can see here, but there's an additional bonus that's different. And this is all, um, this RNG. You might get something, I don't know, maybe you can get something instead of 3.7% HP plus, it's HP plus 4.3%, which means it's even better than this previous one. Then you probably want to discard this and use it to upgrade your previous one. It's up to you, preference again. So this is the only difference when it comes to um, artifacts when you compare it to weapon. So the next thing you have to be... Um, aware is that if you don't have two set of the same you will not get these bonuses and it doesn't necessarily mean getting four set is better than getting two and two some people might want to get two and two because they'll give you more damage um, they'll give you a better crit rate etc preference but that's how it works I would say in the beginning whatever you have I think three stars is a little bit better than four stars in the beginning because it's more common to get a set of four. A set of four usually, um, right here, for example, traveling doctor is really good because it restores your HP. And getting four set is much more easier than four stars in the beginning. Well, again, depends what you have. RNG. And um, that's it, everyone. And also, artifact is way more common to get. You can farm it. You can get it from chests. Um, you can't craft it, though. But it, it's, like, everywhere. You can get it from these rewards. Like, right here, if I complete all Chapter 6 achievement, right here, I get a 4-star. And here, I got a 4-star. And here, another 4-star. And then when you go look at your domain, which is something you can farm every day as long as you have the stamina, you can farm these four stars artifact. Five star, I think you will need to probably summon. And then even bosses, they are commonly drop when you clear these bosses. And these one, you can farm as many as you want as long as you have the stamina. Last but not least, you can upgrade your equipment by using these ore. These ore makes it easier. Like in level, it gives you more experience. Other than that, you can use your useless level one star or two star equipment to upgrade your current weapon. Same with artifacts. You use your two or three stars to upgrade it if you like. Um, maybe in the future, four stars also recommended using to give more experience. Oh, one more thing before I let you guys go. These or here you can get it from random chests usually and you can use them to f um, forge these material to craft a weapon like you can see you can also farm these from the wild it's like a lot of places you have it you can get them and last but not least you can get it um, farm them from expedition every day 
so you go right here and these expedition right here I'll show you you can farm these the longer hours you do the more rare or uh, material you can get and that's it everyone hope this video helped you guys understand better about equipment and good luck when Goldblow releases and I'll see you guys next time bye bye